Everyone, Matt here from Docs Running, and today we're going to do a sub three review of the Nike Infinity RN4. Run for RN, whatever. So this is Nike's maximal daily training shoe. If those of you have run in the Infinity Run series before, this is completely different. Yes, it still has the same essence of whether it's a stability shoe or not, which Nike is going to argue, and I'm going to argue somewhat against in just a second. But it's still a solid shoe. It's just completely different than any of the other other shoes in that line. I was really liking version three, but of course Nike went and changed it. Again, not that it's bad. It's just really different. So let's talk about how things have changed and start off with specs because that's an easy place to start because men's size nine is 11.1 ounces. Women's size eight is 9.4 ounces. There's a 39 millimeter stack in the heel, 30 in the forefoot for a nine millimeter drop. The foam is full length Nike React X foam, which is slightly firmer and I wasn't expecting that. And the upper is this completely new upper like knit material that fits a half size small. That's the most important thing I can tell you about the shoe. Do not go true to size. You're gonna need to go half size up. I'm a, this is a 10 and a half and it fits. Like I would not want anything smaller. The upper is super low on the toes. Um, and it's really secure, which is nice. If you like a compression sock feeling, this is definitely gonna give you that. The midfoot and the uh, uh, tongue has a gusset there and it really locks your foot down very compressively. This feeling goes away as you rump. When you first put on, you're like, ooh, kind of tight. Not in like a narrow way, but a low way. So people with higher volume feet, you might have to wait for the stretch or this might not be a great option. People with lower volume feet or really like that feeling, you're gonna really enjoy this. There is a flexible heel counter back here. So people that have sensitivity to that, you're gonna really enjoy this. It didn't bug me at all, um, which was really nice, but a very compressive upper. The sole also really different. So heavy, this shoe you cannot pick up the pace in unless you are much stronger than me because it is very heavy and very rockered. There is not any bounce to this midsole. It's really like, it, it's it's not resilient and bounces back, it's compliant. It, it compresses in and you gotta roll forward. There's a little bit of flexibility in the forefoot. Overall maximal stiff ride, especially in the heel. Little posterior flare, but a rocker. So really rockered ride for easy miles. Do not try to pick up the pace. Once you get into rhythm, it's fine, but it's just heavy. There are some other things that they do stability-wise, which I think are better than the previous version. So there also are full-length sidewalls that are integrated into the sole instead of those plastic things, which could be irritating. Much better here. The other thing that they've done is if you can see the medial sole is filled in, the lateral side has this thing that if you hit the really lateral, it does collapse inward. So people that land really far lateral, this is actually gonna be a mild guidance shoe and it's got a lateral bias. People that land, if they go too far laterally, this is gonna be a struggle, this might be a struggle shoe for you, but mild guidance shoe is what I would call this. It's not gonna be in your face, it's very well integrated, but again, this is a maximal training shoe, not a spooly shoe, maybe mild guidance, something worth, if you're okay with a heavier weight, looking at.